Our next topic is uh, shift registers. Now you are familiar with the topic uh, registers. You know they are temporary uh, storage devices. Okay, and also counters. We have seen the different types of counters, the different uh, uh, varieties of counter design, synchronous counters, uh, synchronous counters. So uh, today we will discuss uh, shift registers and the different types. Uh, I mean the relevant shift registers. Okay. So first of all, let, let us check what's register and how does it work and what are the applications. It's a type of logic circuit, uh, logic circuits closely related to counters, that is shift registers, used basically for storage and transfer of digital data. Uh, you know, actually, uh, register was a temporary storage device, okay, but shift registers, as the name suggests, it's used for shifting the data as well. Okay, I will explain the uh, concept when we go for the design part. The basic difference between a shift register and a counter is that a shift register has no specified sequence of states, except in very specified applications. That is not so relevant in this particular case. But as a name, uh, as, as uh, it's already uh, described, that it's, it has no specified sequence of states, whereas a counter has a specified sequence of states. We have shown the state diagram as well in the case of uh, counters, counter design. Okay, so it means that it has a spe uh, specified sequence of states in the case of uh, synchronous counters. And it's very important digital building block. That is, uh, shift registers are very important digital building block used to momentarily store binary data at the output of a decoder. Also, it forms the basis for some very important arithmetic operations. Okay. Uh, usually complementation, multiplication, division are uh, performed in certain uh, circuits with the help of uh, shift registers. Okay, it can also be connected to form a number of different types of counters. Okay, these are uh, these are um, basically uh, the basic difference between counters and uh, registers, shift registers, and also some of the applications uh, of registers. Sorry, shift registers. Okay. Sorry. Next, we will go directly into the uh, data transmission. Data transmission in shift registers. Okay. A number of flip flops connected together such that the data may be shifted into and shifted out of them is called a shift register. Data may be shifted into or shifted out of the register either in serial form or parallel form. Okay. Based on that. We have four basic types of sh shift registers. First is serial in, serial out shift register. Serial in, parallel out shift register. Parallel in, the third type is parallel in, serial out shift register. Parallel in, parallel out shift register. In short, it's called CISO, SIPO, PISO and PIPO. Okay. At times, we can find questions like that, okay, explain or uh, how data transmission takes place in PISO. It means parallel in shift, parallel in serial out, shift register, okay. Data may be shifted from left to right or right to left at will, that is bi-directional way. We also, after discussing uh, that, you know, uh, as the, our uh, syllabus focuses on CISO and SIPO, that is serial in serial out and serial in parallel out. Okay, so for the time being, uh, we won't discuss PISO and PIPO, we will go for CISO and SIPO. Okay, uh, but after that, uh, if we get time, we will definitely go for PISO and PIPO. Okay, but our uh, syllabus uh, says that we need to concentrate on CISO and SIPO. Okay, and also the bi directional way means uh, can be shifted from left to right or right to left, it said so. So, we will go for the bi-directional shift register as well, as per our syllabus. Data may be shifted in serially, in either way, that is both ends, or in parallel, okay, shifted in, or shifted out serially, in either way, or in parallel, okay. So, first we will go for, uh, what are the different uh, types of data transmission types, and based on that, the shift registers, 
but today we will discuss uh, CISO and CIPO first and after that bidirectional shift register as per our syllabus. Okay. This is how uh, the data transmission takes place in shift registers. Uh, usually, no questions are asked from this part. If a question is asked, we can definitely go. I mean, go for it. Okay. This is serial in, serial out, shift right, shift register. Serial data, serial input data, and serial output data. Shift right, shift register. Serial in, serial out, serial input, serial output. Shift left, shift register. Third case is. Serial in serial input data parallel out and after taking the giving the serial input the output is taken parallel parallel out shift register I have written SR it stands for shift register not set preset okay it's shift register there was no space that's why I wrote that's why I wrote like that okay shift register this is parallel data input and parallel data output that means parallel in parallel out shift register this is parallel in Input is given parallelly, parallel input data, serial out, output is taken uh, serially, shift register. This is serial in, serial out, serial in, serial out, shift left, shift right, that is bidirectional shift register. That is, we can give the data from left to right and also right to left, that is bidirectional shift register. This is Rotate right shift register. The data is rotated right and the final one is taken as uh, almost like a feedback to the first one. This is rotate right shift register. Rotate left shift register means the data is rotated left wise and the uh, what we call this one uh, almost the MSB part is taken and is given as a uh, feedback to the rightmost one that is the LSB. Okay. Forget about MSB and LSB. Okay. Uh, it is given the data is given uh, back to this particular part okay